हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कैट मैनिक दिस इज जिताबो फ्रेंड्स आई हैव पोस्टेड ए पिक्चर ऑफ दिस हाउस ऑन माय फेसबुक पेज एंड आस्क पीपल वेदर आई शुड मेक ए ट्यूटोरियल ऑन दिस हाउस इन रिस्पांस टू दैट अराउंड 200 पीपल हैव आस्क मी टू डू द सेम सो आई विल बी ब्रिंगिंग टू यू अ कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल ऑन दिस हाउस दो आई हैव मेड ए फ्यू चेंजेस टू द वन आई हैव पोस्टेड इन फेसबुक एनीवेज आई विल जस्ट शो यू द ग्राउंड फ्लोर ऑफ दिस हाउस नाउ एज यू कैन सी देयर इज अ बिग लिविंग रूम एंड ओपन किचन and the dining space opposite to the kitchen there are three bedrooms two walk-in closets attached to the two bedrooms one master bath and a small bathroom as well and a store underneath the staircase one more store and of course a big garage this is the ground floor plan so we will prepare this plan first first of all we will set the units so for setting the units type un and press enter then change the type to engineering precision to 00 and insertion scale to inches then press okay then type d and press enter to open the dimension style manager pop up go to modify and change the unit format and precision as before and then press okay and close now click on rectangle tool click anywhere in the drawing area then type d and press enter for dimensioning the rectangle give the length as 13 feet and width as 12 feet 8 inches then click left to place the rectangle then repeat the rectangle command press enter or space bar or just right click to repeat the last command then take extension of this point make sure the extension is turned on in the object snap settings or just press function f11 to turn it on then type 6 and press enter then again type d and press enter for dimensioning the rectangle give the length as 14 feet 6 inches and width as 12 feet 8 inches and click left to place the rectangle repeat rectangle command then take extension of 6 inches from this point and repeat the process to make a rectangle of 13 feet length and 12 feet width repeat rectangle command take 6 inches extension again and draw a rectangle of 8 feet length and 8 feet width take an extension of 6 inches again and draw a rectangle of 8 feet length and 17 feet 10 inches width repeat rectangle command again take 6 inches extension and draw a rectangle of 8 feet length and 8 feet width take extension of 6 inches again and draw a rectangle of 13 feet length and 17 feet width repeat rectangle command take 6 inches extension again and draw a rectangle of 9 feet length and 4 feet 10 inches width Repeat rectangle command take 6 inches extension then move your crosshair to this point take 6 inches extension upwards to form the rectangle Take 6 inches extension again and make a rectangle of 15 feet length and 21 feet 8 inches width Take 6 inches extension from this point and draw a rectangle of 13 feet length and 13 feet 4 inches width. Then repeat rectangle command. Click at this point and make a rectangle of 10 feet 8 inches length and 10 feet 8 inches width. Then click on trim tool, press enter and select this part to trim it. Now I'll make the outer wall. For that click on polyline tool. take 12 inches extension from this point turn on the ortho then just draw the lines as i have done this way i'll make the garage and the store so repeat polyline command just press enter to do so click at this point move the cursor upwards specify next point at 23 feet 8 inches move towards left type 22 feet and press enter move downwards type 27 and press enter move towards right type 10 feet 2 inches and press enter move downwards type 14 feet and press enter then take the cursor towards right type 8 feet 6 inches and press enter and then click at this point to close the loop Then type O and press enter to offset. Specify the offset distance as 12 inches. Select this polyline and make an offset inside this polyline. Then click on line tool and draw this line. Then type O and press enter to offset. Specify the offset distance as 12 inches and make an offset of this line. 
then click on line tool and draw a few lines as I have drawn to make this inside wall of 6 inches thickness. Now click on trim tool, press enter and select this part to trim this. Now I'll make the door cutouts, for that click on line tool and draw a few lines just by following me. Then type O and press enter to offset, specify the offset distance as 3 feet, select the lines and make the offsets as per me. Select this line, type 4 feet and click this side to make 4 feet offset of this line. Select this line, type 8 feet and click this side to make 8 feet offset of this line. Same for this one as well. And the two closets at an offset of 2 feet 6 inches. So mention these offset distances. Specify this offset distance as 8 feet. Then type TR and press enter twice and select all the parts in between the lines to trim. I have left this cut out so I'll do it quickly. Now click on line tool and draw a few lines as I have drawn then just trim this part then select this part type MI and press enter to mirror take 21 inches extension from this line and click this side and press enter to mirror the lines then trim these lines and delete these lines as well. Then click on line tool again and draw a few more lines just by following me. And then trim this part. Now I'll make a few layers, click on layer properties, click on create new layer icon and name the layer as wall. Create another layer, name it as door and assign a color to it. Create one more layer and name it as window and assign a color to it as well. And close the layer properties manager. Then select this complete drawing and click on wall layer and press enter to transform the complete layer into wall layer. Then set the door layer as the current layer. Then click on rectangle tool and draw a rectangle of 3 feet length and 4 inches width. Click on line tool and draw these lines. Then select these lines, click on mirror tool and click at these two points as I have done and press enter to mirror these lines. Then draw a line over here. Then select the door and click on group tool to group it. Select the door again, click on copy tool and make two copies. Then click on stretch tool, select the door by green window selection as I have done. Click outwards and stretch towards left by 6 inches to make a door of 2 feet 6 inches width. Repeat stretch command and stretch this towards right by 1 feet to make it a 4 feet door. 
then copy all the doors towards left then click on rotate tool and rotate the doors vertically to get all the orientations of the door then select the door click on move tool move through this midpoint and click at this midpoint snap to place the door i have skipped the placement of the doors i hope he will be able to do that now set the window layer as the current layer then click on rectangle tool and draw a rectangle of 5 feet length and 1 feet width make another rectangle of 5 feet length and 4 inches width then select this rectangle click on move tool and move it inside this rectangle then type tr and press enter twice and select these lines to trim it click on rectangle tool again and make a rectangle of 2 feet 8 inches length and 2 inches width then click on line tool and draw a few lines as i have drawn now select it completely click on move tool move with respect to this point and move it over here then select it again click on copy tool copy it with respect to this point and copy it over here so this is the sliding window select it and group it then make a copy of the window and rotate it vertically then select the window click on copy tool take 4 inches extension upwards from this midpoint for specifying the base point and click at the mid of these two walls to place the window then just follow my steps and place all the windows Now I'll make a normal window at this place. Click on rectangle tool, take an extension of 5 feet upwards from this point and make a rectangle of 1 feet length and 3 feet width. Make another rectangle of 4 inches length and 3 feet width. Then draw a few lines as I have drawn. Then click on mirror tool and mirror these lines to this side as well and then draw these two lines as well. Now move it completely inside this rectangle. Then trim these two lines and group the window. Now just follow these steps to make the ventilator as well. I'll just add a bit brighter color to the layers. Now I'll add text to the plan. Go to layer properties, create a new layer, name it as text and assign some color to it and set the text layer as the current layer. Then type empty and press enter, specify the text box, then type living room and specify the dimension as well. Then select the complete text, set the text height as 9 inches and click on justify center and click outside the text box to specify the text. Set the text height to 12 inches rather. Then select the text and copy it to every other room as well.
then just double click on the texts and edit them i have skipped that part now i'll make the staircase so create a layer and name it as staircase and assign some color to it then set the staircase layer as the current layer click on line tool and draw a line like this now type o and press enter to offset then specify the offset distance as 9 inches select this line and make 5 offsets in this direction then just draw these two lines again type o and press enter and specify the offset distance as 9 inches select this line and make 12 offsets then click on polyline tool and draw the lines as i have drawn to complete the staircase so the ground floor is complete now i'll make the porch and the deck directly in 3d friends press the like button and subscribe to this channel if you like the video in the next video i'll show you how to convert this plan into 3d so that's it for now guys bye bye